I'm Black Bright, just a quick video um, about something you may know. So if you know already, just switch off. But for those of you who don't know, anyway, before I go into the video, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes. I talk about a variety of subjects that I think might be useful to my subscribers and anybody who passes by. And today I wanted to talk about um, what the insurers are now using to invalidate your insurance. Now, normally, it's as long as you've got your MOT and as long as, you know, your car, you haven't told any lies about points on your license and you haven't got into an accident, normally those are the kind of things that invalidate your insurance if you've been lying. But not anymore. They've added something else. Now, if you get involved in an accident or if you get involved in a breakdown and you have to call your insurance, you have to make sure your car is fully serviced. Now, if you call and they say that um, you've had an accident and they find out that your car is not serviced or hasn't got, you know, like a full or regular service record, they can invalidate your insurance. Now, a lot of people... They have a service and they kind of think, oh, I'm going to leave off the repairs until later. I can't be bothered to go and get them done now. As long as it passes its MOT, that's all I'm worried about. Because if it passes the MOT, that means I get my insurance. And yeah, that's fine. You get your insurance policy, but insurers are trying every which way not to pay out. And this is what they've added to their lists of ways to invalidate your insurance so i'm going to put the link below so i'm so you know i'm not just making it up so yeah basically um insurance people are looking for well i've already said that um you're going to need the mot need your need to own up to any penalties or car accidents um now they can invalidate your insurance if your car has not been serviced at the time of the crash or the breakdown. Keeping your car serviced is the responsibility of the motorist. We all know that. Some car owners think it's a luxury. It's not. Failing to repair faults is deemed negligence on the part of the driver, oblique motorists. And even if you have a common MOT, you will still need to show evidence of regular service records. 21% apparently, apparently put off repairs. So I told you it was going to be short and sweet. Don't have to belabor the point. So if you haven't had your car serviced recently, you better get on it and get it done. Just in case, God forbid, you have a little accident and you have to call your insurance. I mean, to be honest, nowadays you're probably better off paying for it out of insurance. But I tell you. You know, I had an accident. Um, when did I have an accident? Last year in May. I got a letter today from DWP wanting to know the date of the accident, um, whether or not I went to the hospital, um, whether or not I went to the walk-in centre, my name, my address, DWP. Why the hell would the Department of Work and Pensions want to know about my car accident when I'm not claiming any benefits. Something dodgy going on. I don't know why. If anybody can tell me, put it in the, in the comments below. I'd be very interested to know why DWP are interested in an accident I had last year and i've asked me to fill up a form and i've got to return it within i think they said 15 days 10 to 15 days or else free p a free paid envelope and everything so i don't understand that at all i thought that if you were on dwp or claiming benefits then they're interested to know whether or not you've got any um what do you call it compensation or something like that but I didn't think they would need to know if you weren't claiming benefits. So like I said, if anybody knows, 
anything about that, please let me know and I'd be interested to read your comments. And that's all for now. Bye-bye.